Hi, my name is Peggy. I'm service manager here at Bay Chevrolet Incorporated. As a service manager, my responsibilities and duties are to uh, pretty much I am in charge of the supervision and the hiring and firing of all service technicians, uh, assistant service managers, the shop foreman, uh, also supervising the body shop which includes my body shop manager, the collision estimator, my body techs, and my painters, and also the responsibility of making sure that General Motors monies that is spent on claims uh, that there is no fraud and that the repairs are done right the first time. Uh, a lot of my job uh, includes what we call customer retention management and basically what that covers uh, is ensuring that I send maintenance reminders out to all of our customers that are in our database uh, and the things that helps them keep up with uh, uh, mileage driven on their vehicles to bring them back into the dealership. See the key is to bring them back to us. Uh, also, uh, I am responsible for a customer satisfaction index because, uh, you know, it's a cycle here at the dealership. We have to ensure in the back that when we make repairs that we fix cars right the first time that we take care of all the maintenance needs so that during the life of the ownership that we build on this and it brings the customer back to trade their vehicles in. So we keep them going in the circle at all times, that we keep them coming in the front, to the back, out the back, back to the front. Um, also involved in that is uh, making sure that I'm marketing well, that I present uh, to the public and to the customers, that I'm getting out into our local advertising, papers, radio, television, Facebook, uh, YouTube that uh, I let the customers know um, you know what savings that they can get here at the dealership you know everybody has this vision that if you go to the dealer it's that you're going to pay way more than you are at an independent and that is very very not true you we are very competitively priced and uh, my job is to overcome that it's inconvenience to come here and that my prices are higher than anyone else uh, also, I'm very involved with the training, doing technical, meaning for my technicians to keep them up to date, and also non-technical training because the advisors, my assistant service managers, advisors that meet you when you bring your car in, every year there is numerous amounts of General Motors classes that they have to take, including myself as well and everyone within the dealership. In addition to those responsibilities, I also have to keep in mind that uh, I have got to keep uh, the fixed operations end of the business profitable. So it's my uh, responsibility to see to it that we make good gross profit off of the labor we sell and also of the parts that we sell. Uh, so you have to have a lot of skills on being able to understand accounting math and being able to read financial statements. Um, hours for a service manager 7 a.m. to 5 30 p.m. it's a Monday through Friday job and the stress level I guess like with most man management jobs depending on your personality um, you know for me I, I'd say it's a semi high uh, a lot of people says that they think that my position is a high stress level just simply because of what I do from day to day My recommendations as far as education goes is absolutely uh, a two-year degree and to lean more toward uh, automotive technology. Uh, also a tremendous plus is uh, uh, on-the-job experience uh, and because training, training here at the dealership is constant. We do it every day. Uh, everyone who knows who operates their own motor vehicles or purchases new motor vehicles knows that every day that there is more technology that's added to the automobiles that we drive today. Uh, actually, the automobiles driven today, uh, there is more computer modules on that car than the first Apollo ship that went to space, okay? So uh, you've got to be very strong in your computer sciences, mathematics, um, being able to understand software, uh, good reading comprehension skills, um, 
you know, as far as being on the line and talking with customers, you've got to have very good communication skills. Uh, and when I say communications, I'm not talking just talking all the time, but being able to listen. But you've also got to be able to deliver empathy as well. Uh, so, um, you know, I would say to anyone that wants to get into this career, definitely at least a two-year degree. In some of your major uh, metro markets, uh, they do require bachelor's degrees to be service managers. Uh, so depending upon, um, you know, geographically where you're at in the country, um, you may find that you may have to have more education that's required by other dealerships than others. Um, actually, the best part uh, of my job is it is a financially sound job. You can make a very good living as a service manager, uh, again, depending on the demographics, but uh, at most any location, uh, you can make a very good living. Uh, also, the hours, uh, you know, it, most of the time it's daytime hours, it's not shift work. And that is, uh, to me, is, you know, just worth its weight in gold that you're, uh, you know, Monday through Friday or Monday through Saturday and you're not working during the night. Um, uh, actually, too, we do a lot of things uh, within dealerships that are involved with the community. And uh, it gives you an opportunity to, to know the people in, in the city and towns where you live. And, um, you know, just to be a, a part of your community and, and um, that gives you a good feeling to do those things. Um, and the other part of that is, is you get to know uh, a lot of different people from a, a lot of different areas and every day uh, you gain more knowledge every day uh, and you get to hear things about the product coming out before anyone else does. You know, so that is uh, um, a good thing. And I guess you, know, you, you have to talk about the worst part and sometimes you really don't want to talk about what the worst part of a, a job is, but uh, uh, you know, in this particular job, you know, everybody's not happy about coming to the dealership service department. It's kind of like going to the dentist, you know, and uh, uh, but every now and then you have to deal with irate customers. Uh, you have to deal with the manufacturer's people. You got to keep them happy. You got to keep the uh, the dealer principal happy and uh, and then you've got to keep all of your employees happy. So when um, you combine all that together and you're trying to make people happy, uh, you know, come on, you, you know, everybody knows sometimes that's the hardest thing we do is uh, trying to keep people happy and um, you can't satisfy everybody 100% of the time, 100% of the people. So if you keep that in mind, I find that you work uh, a little bit better. My final advice would be that if you was uh, truly wanting to pursue a career in this field is to inquire, uh, you know, within your, at your high school, at high school level, they have uh, partnerships with the dealerships in some of the local areas that will allow you to come into the dealership in the summers and through a, a apprenticeship or, or mentorship program and spend a few weeks in the dealership and, and, and smell and feel and hear what it's like to be inside of a dealership, uh, how a, a dealership service department operates day in and day out. Uh, and then secondly, uh, it, that if you do that and you truly enjoy that and you still want to pursue that career, then that's where I, I would really push the education, the mathematics, uh, the reading comprehension, the computer sciences, and that's whether you want to do a technical position or a non-technical position because all of those skills, all that type education is needed whenever you come into a dealership. Those are the type skills you're going to need to be the best at this job. Uh, I would also um, uh, would recommend to uh, 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 maybe uh, doing some communication courses, uh, you know, with, within your schools, whether it's at high school and college levels that uh, you learn how to be a good listener and a good speaker. Um, other than that, uh, the best I can tell you is uh, welcome aboard.